Hello, and welcome to our Energy Connect studio at the Global Energy Show 2023. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me, Dr. Lee Tae-ho, Senior Vice President of the Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, uh, thank, you very, thank you very much for arranging this interview. It's my pleasure to talk about my institute, Kelly, and our smart technology and our business in Canada. Great, well, let's get straight into it. Could you tell me a bit more about your smart technology and how did you come by developing it? The system uh, integrated with the advanced Vieta Smart was developed uh, by Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute to carry in collaboration with the Korean industry. Normally, SMR is an uh, advanced uh, reactor that have a power capacity of up to uh, uh, 300 megawatt electric. And according to the IAEA, there are uh, more than eight SMR design on the different stages of development and deployment globally. Smart became the world's first licensed SMR designs when the Korean regulatory body issued standard design approval in 2012. This means that it proved its safety as an SMR and the technical readiness for deployment. If I add some technical feature of SMART, it is an advanced water-cooled integral reactor with a thermal output of 365 megawatt summer. It was developed by harmonizing innovative concepts and the proven commercial technology. Combining the innovative concept and the uh, commercial technology proven in pressurized water reactor, <coughs> innovative technologies that have been implemented, such as integral reactor, modularization for on-site installation and maintenance, passive safety system, and the fully digitized control system. Based upon its proven, safe, proven safety and the long experience of construction and operation of pressurized water reactor, SMART has greatly enhanced safety, easy construction and operability, and the competitive economics. It's really interesting, Dr. Lee. And what are some of the benefits of SMART technology for the energy industry? Okay. Uh, SMART provides a carbon-free energy and or a powerful various applications, including oil sand operations in competitively priced, environmentally acceptable and reliable way. It is a real, real reactor for immediate deployment. Technology embedded in SMART had been proven through comprehensive technology validation program. Especially for oil sand application, thermal outputs of SMART is suitable to replace the post current operating steam generator system for segged process in Alberta. Also, it is deployable just where steam is required. Through the deployment of SMART, Canada will share the strengths of Korean nuclear industry. SMART Corporation will promote establishment of SMR supply chain and job creation in Canada, and also Korean business will find clean energy business opportunity abroad. Korea is widely known for its strong supply chain, which enables the construction of a nuclear power plant on time, on budget. Uh, Korean companies will be best partners uh, for Canadians who want to enter the SMR business. Very interesting there. And you mentioned there about Canada entering the SMR business. Yeah, why is Alberta looking at small modular reactors uh, for its nuclear projects? Yes, actually, Canada introduced the Greenhouse Gas Pollution Pricing Act in 2018. According to the Act, the price on carbon pollution increases annually until it reaches $170 per tonne in 2030. Such measures naturally weaken competitiveness and the economics of the current energy industry of Canada, heavily relying on fossil fuel. SMR opens a unique window since technology is deployable in many places that conventional large size nuclear power plants have not reached so far. As Canada's 
roadmap, SMR roadmap of the 2018, the SMR will replace the fossil fuel in heavy industry and the own power generation, operated mining, district heating, and so on. We are paying attention to Alberta because each oil sand industry can be the best test bed for SMR to prove its value and the competitiveness as a clean energy technology. It is obvious that oil sand urgently need carbon-free energy solution like nuclear energy, uh, considering the paced given prices. While uh, oil sand field don't need a large size nuclear reactor, SMART is the best size for oil sand application as we studied. However, we also know that SMR is not the only option for the industry to cut emission. There are other technological advancements such as carbon capture and storage. SMRs will survive only when they are technically and economically competitive against other energy technologies. Competition of a clean energy business already begun. I think as, as a SMR developer, Canada is most valuable battlefield to win. That's really good to hear, Dr. Lee. And I think I just want to hear a bit more about what you see as the opportunities for de deploying SMR then. Many countries uh, re recently renew, renew, renewing their interest in nuclear energy as a way to achieving net zero target. And uh, SMR is gaining more attention due to its wide range of application. So I think that the SMR market is very promising. This is opportunity. But like other businesses, SMR should be profitable. Deployment of SMRs are still in the demonstration scale rather than commercial. The existing regulation, supply chain, and the business model in the nuclear industry is still based on large conventional nuclear power plants, which does not fit SMR. The very merit of SMRs comes from the differentiation from the large size nuclear power plant. Safer, simpler, short manufacturing and construction period, lower cost and so on. It is necessary to demonstrate economic justification compared with other energy sources. Among others, licensing is key of a nuclear business. The longer licensing takes, the more project costs. For SMRs, I think the new licensing frame is necessary. In this sense, Canadian Nuclear uh, Safety Commission has played a leading role in the development and the harmonization of SMR licensing. The, pro the introduction of Benda Design Review is one of the important progress CNSC made. As a technology developer, interaction with the regulator is very, very important. But it is not always easy, especially when we try to new technology or designs. Therefore, vendor design reviews are expected to help regulators to better understand the new SMR design. In the field SMR, Canada is setting the course for the others to follow. Another fundamental question is about the public perception of safety and spent fuel <laughs> management. This is a long-standing issue in the nuclear industry. Without the public's confidence on safety and the environmental sustainability, SMR will not be widely accepted. This is a common task for global nuclear deployment. Absolutely, Dr. Lee. And just before we go, I just want to get your viewpoints on what you see as what's the next stage for SMART in Canada. It's important. Yeah, <laughs> Canada is most important market for SMRs. Uh, the Canadian SMR roadmap suggested a clear picture of how SMRs will help reduce emissions in Canadian industries. It project SMR will create up to 6,000 jobs and 19 billion of direct and indirect economic impact between 2030 and 2040. Even though the project is just a number, but we respect its approach because it provides a clear direction where the country wants to lead the SMR industry. As a technology owner, 
entirely poorly computed that SMART will be the solution for Canada's carbon reduction efforts. However, more importantly, such a competency should be turned into the real business that makes sense for Koreans and Canadians. We know the reality well. Actually, we naturally see lowering technical, financial, and institutional risk uncertainties will be decisive in realizing this new technology. This is why we have signed the MOU with Government of Alberta in April and came to this the Global Energy Show this year. As a public sector, Kerry wants to help mitigate as much risk as possible. And also there are many different tools public sectors can help private business avoid or reduce potential risks. Information gap is another barrier identified recently. We really hope our technology is known to be more widely and bring about better future as in many places as possible and carries participation in this global energy show is part of such uh, efforts. With our technology, highly qualified experts and broad network in the nuclear establishment, Kerry will support business, be it Korean or Canadians, who want to apply smart to the end industry. In the course of <coughs> ventures, we also work with the Alberta and the Canadian governments, industries, and the academias. Now we say, Carry is here, smart is available for you, Canada. Well, Dr. Lee, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. Very interesting to hear all about your smart technology and the opportunities you see here in Canada. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching, and I look forward to bringing you more studio interviews from the show floor in the coming days.